Vacations cost hundreds, even thousands of dollars, and no one likes to spend their hard-earned money on a vacation spot that's not as was advertised. New at 4, Channel 2 Consumer Advisor Clark Howard shows you how to avoid being the victim of a photo fake-out. This isn't just an airport. Sometimes it's the launching pad for what you hope is a dream vacation. But dreams don't always come true. The picture looked like one thing and the description was wonderful, but when you got there, it was a piece of junk. It's called a photo fake out. You imagine serenity. You get sardines. You think you're steps from the Capitol. Put on your sneakers. This woman uncovers those photo fake outs. She works for Oyster.com a travel website that puts hotel reviews online. We've visited every single hotel in person and taken hundreds of photographs so that when you're researching, you can see the real hotel the way it will really be when you get there. Today, she's looking at hotels in Atlanta. The Hyatt Place in Buckhead has a room as nice as its ad. Of course, vacation spots want to put their place in the best light, but sometimes it can go overboard. Take this male model at a Miami hotel. First of all, why would you have a surfboard in any pool that's bizarre enough in and of itself? And then second of all, the pool is in reality the size of a hot tub. Cropping is a big favorite. The Sofitel in L.A.? It looks like there's a great view, everything's perfect, everything's serene. But in reality, if you turn just a little bit to the left, you'll see that Macy's is looming over the pool. An intimate wedding in the Caribbean? Not at this hotel. In reality, you have hotel guests standing around, gawking at you in their bathing suits, peeking in on your very private, very personal, very romantic wedding day. How do you spot a photo fake out before you get punked? You think you're getting this, but instead you get this. It's all in knowing what to look for in the pictures. Beware of smiling close-ups of people working out. They're not showing you the whole picture. And that lady who's always in a bikini and always alone? You're not going to find her. She's a model. You're more likely to run into a bunch of frat guys at the pool. The best way to avoid being the victim of a photo fakeout is to research lots of websites. Not just Oyster.com, but TripAdvisor.com's a great site to visit. It posts real pictures from real visitors along with reviews. I'm Clark Howard, Channel 2 Action News. Oyster.com has just added hotel reviews in Chicago, San Diego, Costa Rica, and Phoenix.